From liquid glass to the redesigned camera app, iOS 26 brings loads of new features to the iPhone, but some of the changes are less obvious than others. So in this video, we'll be highlighting five lesser known upgrades in iOS 26 to help you get even more from your Apple device. Let's get into them. In iOS 26, Apple has introduced a new reminder shortcut that you can add to either the lock screen or control center. From the lock screen, just long press the screen itself, then hit customize if you want to add the reminder shortcut to your existing lock screen or the plus button to make a new one. Then tap on the circle on the bottom left or right corner of the screen and search for the reminders option to add it to that slot. Bear in mind that if you've already got a function in that slot, you'll have to remove it to make room. Once done, you can just tap that icon anytime on your lock screen to quickly add a reminder to the reminders app. The process is pretty similar for the control center. Just long press any empty space on the control center, tap add a control and search for the reminders control. Now you can quickly add reminders from the control center without having to dive into your iPhone. This is the sort of feature that you might have assumed was always available on your iPhone, but until iOS 26, you couldn't actually change the snooze duration on alarms to anything other than nine minutes. Now though, if you head into the clock app and either create a new alarm or tap on an existing one to edit it, you'll see a snooze duration option, where you can set it to anything from just one minute to 15 minutes. Sure, this isn't a major feature, but as someone who uses that snooze alarm every day, it has genuinely changed my daily routine. One more bit well-known but still easily missed trick in iOS 26 is the ability to add polls to message chats. Just open a chat in the Messages app, tap the plus button to the left of the text input field, select polls, then fill in the options you want included. Then just type out a message to include it alongside the poll and hit send. Once done, everyone in the chat will be able to vote on the options in the poll, which could be handy if a group of you are deciding which restaurant to go to, which movie to see, or which date works best for a trip. Your AirPods have also gotten more capable in iOS 26, as you can now use them as a mic when recording video. To do this, first wear your AirPods and make sure that they're connected to your iPhone. Then head to the settings app and tap the name of your AirPods near the top of the screen. From there, tap camera remote, followed by either press once or press and hold. This will get your AirPods ready to be used as a mic in videos, and that process only needs to be completed once. After that, head into the camera app or any other supported camera app, select the video mode, swipe down to access control center, and then tap camera controls. From there, select your AirPods in the input section, and if you want, you can also change the mic mode from automatic to standard, voice isolation, or wide spectrum. Then, simply press the stem on your AirPods to start recording and to use them as a mic. One quick thing to note, this feature isn't currently available in all countries or regions, including the EU, so if you can't see any of the settings we've mentioned, that may be the reason why. Lastly, in iOS 26, you can add a 3D effect to any photo by tapping the spatial scene button in the top right corner of any image. But this effect arguably works best when used as a lock screen wallpaper. To access it, simply create a new lock screen and make sure the spatial scene hexagon is enabled. Then you'll be able to see the image from slightly different angles as you move your lock screen around. You can also add the spatial scene effect to existing lock screen wallpapers by going to customize, then tapping the spatial scene hexagon. Though in our experience, the 3D effect tends to work best on wallpaper images that Apple picks for you. And that's it, our pick of five hidden features in iOS 26 to improve your iPhone experience. Of course, there are plenty more lesser known features that we haven't talked about here. So if we missed something that you found particularly useful, let us know in the comments below.